today's sponsor we have GVG Mall, where you can acquire your Windows 10 Home serial key for only $16 and using my SKEG discount code will get you 20% off, making it only $11. After the payment, you'll receive the key in your account and after getting it, you simply need to introduce it in your Windows settings and BAM! You have an activated system. Hello guys, Ashen Gameplays, I'm Fabio Pisco and welcome to my channel. So today's video, we basically have a video of how to delete undeletable files. And yeah, if they are undeletable, how can we delete them? <laughs> anyway, I have three tips for you about that. So let's go to the first one. The first one is to actually take ownership of the file. In some in some cases the the Windows system won't actually let you delete some file because you are not the owner of the file per se. So you own the computer but you don't even own the file. So yeah, so basically, <laughs> let's say that we have a file somewhere. Let's say, for example, uh, this backup folder, okay? All you need to do is go into the folder you want, click in the right button of your mouse, and open the properties, okay? This is Windows 11, but Windows 10 is more or less of the same, okay? So, open it, properties, okay? Properties, then we go to security, and then we have here the permissions, but you need to take ownership before going to the permission. So go to advanced for special permissions or, or advanced settings, click advanced. Go to advanced and you have here, as you see, the owner is not me. I'm not the owner of this folder. Although uh, I'm the owner of computer, I'm the administrator of this, I am not the owner. I can delete the folder, but I'm not the owner. So. All you have to do is go here and press change. Now they have enter the object name to select. Okay, since this uh, you actually need to select and insert uh, your username. In this case, it's Fabio Pisco. So I just go here, Fabio Pisco and press check names. As you can see, Pisco slash Fabio Pisco. Okay, so after this, Replace owner and subcontainers and objects. Basically, four subcontainers on some okay on on subcontainers. So basically, you will take ownership of the folders, subfolders, and files in this particular folder. Okay, so you just check this box and then apply. And here it is. You have just taken ownership of this object, you will need to close and reopen the object's properties before you can view or change permissions, okay? So basically, I just took um, I just took the ownership over this, okay? This is the first step. Now, the second one is, is just go here, basically, and change the permissions. Now, go, for example, to the administrators that have full control now, but go to the users and press allow to full control, so I can write modify, read and execute, blah, blah, blah. I can do everything I want with this folder. Then go apply. Once again, just take, it just takes a while. And bam, I have the full permission over this folder, okay? So all I have to do is just go there and in this case, Windows 11, delete the folder, okay? If this doesn't work, let's go to the second tip. Okay, now for the second tip, we're actually gonna use the, the command line, okay, the command prompt. Uh, basically, we're gonna write some comments to actually delete the, the folder that we want to delete, okay? For that, I will just create a folder first, let's say a new, new folder, test, okay? And I will create another folder inside this, that one, like test2, okay? Then we go back and we have the folder, okay? Now, go to the search icon and press CMD. Then you have the comment prompt. Then you select, you click on the right button of your mouse and you have run as administrator, okay? If you're using Windows 11, it will show also run as administrator in the right menu, okay? So just click on it and then you have this. 
So basically, if it is showing something like system 32 and administrator in the top left, you're good to go. Now, first of all, we need to make sure that we are in our directory. In this case, it is the D disk. And when you actually run it with the system 32 or the, the administrator, or and or slash and uh, administrator it will go to your C disk which is your Windows disk okay so to go to the D disk D hard drive D hard drive <laughs> you actually just need to go there and press D two points and bam you're already in the D directory okay on the D hard drive after that you just go and make something like there which is directory space slash x and then we have this uh, it's not a menu but basically we have this which shows the directory and the names that the command line actually gives or the windows actually gives to some folders so folders or files with bigger names will have like a, a shortened name so uh, if we don't have a shortened name here we can use this name to actually delete the folders but if we have the name here then you actually need to use this name instead of the right one if you use this one it won't work you need to use this one okay basically that's it um, in this case in this case the folder is in our root in the root of our of our hard drive so we don't actually need to go to another directory and we just go for example rmd which is remove directory and we can paste the name of the folder okay so basically remove directory and then we have our folder which is the test here test the directory is not empty. My bad, sorry. It's re rmdir slash q, my bad, slash s, and then test. And it is removed. As you can see, the folder is not here anymore. So this is one of the options, but let's just say that you wanted to actually remove the folder inside the test folder, which was the test2 folder. If you want to do that, let's just create the folders once again. Test. And. Test2, okay? So you just want to delete the test2 and not the test1. So now that we are in the D folder, in the D, um, in the D hard drive, okay? You actually need to go inside the test folder so you go and press CD and then D slash test and you're inside the D test folder now you go remove the RMD slash Q slash S and then test 2 oh my bad oh it's my bad my bad I have to do the the dear x yes it is it has a name i don't know why test two one whatever so basically <laughs> remove dear once again slash q space slash x and then test two my bad where's the symbol here one okay and bam the folder is empty as you can see so basically this is a second tip for you to remove folders undeletable folders or undeletable files you can use this one now if this one still doesn't work we need to go to the let's say not excessive but we need to go to a more hardcore one which is the third tip now the third tip is a software called Unlocker. Now, I'm gonna say this right away, the software takes a shitload of time to eliminate the files. Like, a really, really long time, we're talking about, let's say, hours in some scenarios, hours. But it will get shit done. It will take time, but it will get it done. And that's what we want. So the software is called Unlocker. Okay, if you go and search it um, on some websites, you may have some virus. I myself uh, had some files with virus until I found a website that actually had the, the actual software instead of virus. So if you can, I will I will leave um, 
a link in the description that you can use uh, with the software unlocker, okay? To download the software, okay? So I already downloaded the file and it is here, unlocker 1.9.2, okay? You just install it, go next, unlocker, whatever, install, okay? It is installed. After that, you just go here and search for unlocker, it should appear. Okay, unlocker app. Open it and you have this. It's as simple as it can be. Browse for files or folders. Then you go here, you select the, the file or folder you, you want to delete. For example, here, D file and the test folder that we have here. For example, some folder that you have, you just go here, select the folder and then press OK and it will delete the folder, okay? Like I said before, it will take a shitload of time. That's that's for sure, it will take a lot of time, but it works. It will delete the folder even if you can't delete it with the other tips, okay? So the software unlocker is pretty good. Um, like I said before, it, it takes a lot of time, but it gets shit done, okay? So basically that's it. First is to take ownership if the ownership doesn't work, you try the command line. If the command line doesn't work, Unlocker will. And well, that's that's all for today's video, guys. Thanks a lot for watching, seriously. Don't forget to like, subscribe and share this video because that really helps a lot. And well, see you in the next one, which will be also really interesting because I'm doing a wide versus ultra wide comparison, okay? In terms of field of view, and in terms of performance, testing 1080p, 1080p ultra wide, 1440p, 1440p ultra wide, and 4K to actually see uh, how, at least, how this card performs in several res resolutions and how much we lose in terms of performance, going from one aspect ratio to another. Thanks a lot, and see you in the next video.